So today I want to go over multi-packs and variety packs. They have been a huge and integral part of my business and I'm not saying that lightly. Once I discovered them, it was a major, major inflection point in my business. And so what I want to do is explain to you A, how to find multi-packs and variety packs, B, why they're so valuable, and C, why they make you more money, and I'm gonna take you into my computer and give you some real life examples. Just so we're on the same page, a multi-pack is when you take one singular item and add multiple of them to create one unit. So if there's two of them a two pack, three of them a three pack, but they're all individually the same unit. Whereas in a variety pack, you might take vanilla flavored K-cup, chocolate covered K-cup, combine them as a two pack, but by themselves, they are actually different items. So both of them work for what I wanna talk about. I just wanna make sure that there's a clear understanding of the differences. Alrighty, so first up, how do we find multi and variety packs? So if you're anything like me, when you're new, you've probably heard the term a million times, scan everything. And I subscribe by that, okay? I am into that. And it basically is just teaching you, don't overlook anything, you don't know what you don't know, just get started. But scanning actual barcodes is only one way to find products. There's also typing in keywords. Now it might take you an extra step, an extra couple seconds, but it opens up a world of listings, including many variety and multi-packs. So let me show you. I'm gonna take you on my phone. I use Scoutify 2, which is my scanning app, which I love. And um, I just happen to have this product I found around my house, okay? Cello Rojo ground coffee, okay? And so I'm gonna first scan the barcode and show you what listings appear. And so here we go. If I scroll down a little, there's only five total listings. I also want you to notice all the images of the product are one individual bag of coffee. That doesn't mean these aren't multi-packs. I just want to show you visually differences of what happens when now what I'm going to do is type in some keywords here at the top. So I'm going to do cello, rojo, and I'm going to put pack of two at the end of that. Okay. And let's see what comes up. And so as you can see right away, there, these are all for the most part different listings. Now, some of these at the bottom aren't even the product or applicable, but just using the very one at the top, it's got two bags of coffee in the image, so I know it's a different listing and it's clearly gonna be a multi-pack, right? So I'm not so concerned about showing you what it is specifically. The point of this was just to show you that by typing in keywords, you get a lot of different listings. And by the way, what I like to do is try a variety of keywords. So I would do Cello Rojo, ground coffee, pack of two, coffee, pack of two, two pack, three pack, variety pack, and a combination of all of these. And you are going to find so many more listings than what you would have if you just scanned the barcode on any scanning app. I should also mention, sometimes when you scan a barcode, multi-packs and variety packs do appear, okay? It's not that they don't, but when you type in keywords, that's how you can find some differentiators, all right? And by the way, you'll find single units too that are also differentiators just by typing in keywords. So anyway, we know how to get there. Why is it valuable? Really simply put, you have less competition because it's more hurdles, more time consuming, more constraints for other Amazon sellers. Maybe they don't even know they should do that or could do that. And so naturally, less sellers, less competition means more sales for you and typically at a higher profit point because supply and demand. Less supply, good amount of demand on these products, you can typically get away charging a little bit more. So now let's talk about why multi-packs and variety packs are profitable, okay? And can be even when single units aren't. So let's say that this goes for $10 a piece on Amazon all day long. An average consumer, in theory, bear with me, would be willing to pay $20 for a two pack, $30 for a three pack, $40 for a four pack, right? No big deal. However, the real difference comes from the Amazon fees. A one pack, they might charge $5 in fees. A two pack, they might charge $7 in fees. A three pack, they might charge $9 in fees. And a four pack, they might, might charge $12 in fees, right? So a four pack, you get to charge four times the sale price of one unit. Remember, it goes for $10, I can sell it for $40, a customer has no problem with that.
but the Amazon fees don't also multiply by the same amount. So if they charge $5 for a one pack in Amazon fees to me, they don't charge $20 for a four pack. It's kind of like they have a base price for units and then they charge an additional amount based on sale price, size, etc. but it never goes up the same amount. So if they charge for this example, $12 for a four pack instead of $20 for a four pack in fees, well now that $8 difference goes to my bottom line. Amazon's fees don't go up incrementally the same level as what you can get away with charging customers. And so that delta in the Amazon fees is where you get to reap some of the profit. All right, so now I wanna show you this in real life form on my computer. I have two comparisons. First unit is a one unit item. It's a Javalia box of K-cups. There's 12 K-cups in a box. The other example to compare it to is also 12 count Javalia K-cups, but there's three of them, okay? So three times the quantity, three boxes, right? So here we have the first unit, um, and let's just say it costs us $5, okay? This is Inventory Lab, by the way, if you're not familiar. So here in the bottom right, I've entered $5 is our cost. It's selling for $13.19, making us profit of $2.11, okay? So now before I show you what happens on the next one, let's just talk this out for a sec. The next one, since it's three times the amount of boxes, is gonna cost us three times the cost of $5, so it's gonna cost us $15. And just to keep it apples to apples, what we're gonna do is take that $13.19 list price and multiply that by three, which is $39.57. Now again, profit on this one box is $2.11. If we multiply that by three, that would be $6.33. But because of what I just explained, you're gonna see the profit's actually substantially higher because the Amazon fees go down or at least don't continue to trend uh, at the same rate as one unit. So here we are, as you can see, look at the listing. I just wanna make sure you know we're comparing apples to apples. Javalia K-Cup Variety Pack, it's three different ones, totaling 36, so three boxes of 12, as I mentioned. Cost per unit, $15, okay? Because each box is $5. List price, $39.57. Again, we just wanna keep two apples to apples, so we multiplied the list price of the previous one box times three. And now look, the net profit is $10.42. So that means profit went up $4. It went up from what would have been $6 if we sold three individual units of the previous listing, right? It would have been $6.33. But by putting these three together as one unit, you save on Amazon fees. And now we made $10.42. And that is like explaining to you why it's profitable sometimes to sell multi-packs or variety packs even if the one packs don't make sense. And so that's it. I hope that helps paint the picture of why multi-packs and variety packs are loaded with value, separate you from competition, eliminate some of the Amazon fees. If you were to sell just a bunch of one units when you group them as a variety or a multi-pack, you get a reduction in Amazon fees, if you will, which means more profit for you or profits that other people don't even know about because they don't know how to find these listings. I'm Jonathan, Duke does Amazon. Thanks for being here. We're on Instagram as well. I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.